we're going to go over grouping objects in Tinkercad. So what this allows you to do is take the basic shapes that are offered combine, and combine them to make something new. So when you're grouping, you need to have at least two shapes on your work plane. You can actually group with multiple objects, but for this in demonstration, I'm just going to be using two. So here we have a cube and a cylinder. So as you can see, when you click on either one, they're two different colors. And also when you go to resize them, they're both separate when you go to resize them. So one doesn't affect the other one. Now grouping allows you to take these two different objects and then make them into one. So I'm gonna return these to the original shapes that they were. And what I'm going to do is in order to group objects together, you need to take either one of them and bring them together so that they intersect. So you'll see here that you still have the orange of the cylinder and the red of the cube but there's a space here between these lines where the two colors are mixed. Now, what this will do is that when you combine these two shapes together and group them, this is the space where the two shapes will be intersecting. So in order to do grouping, you need to click anywhere on the work plane here, hold down the left mouse button, and drag over top of both shapes. So now you can see that I actually have both of these selected right now. And then you'll come up to the menu on the top right here, and this is the group tool. So you can click here, and what you'll see will happen is that now both of these have turned red, and they've made a completely new shape combined of the previous two shapes. So now when I click on this and go to resize it, it will resize both of them together, because they are now one object. What's nice about Tinkercad is that it does remember what you've done. So say, for example, that you've created this shape, but you end up being unhappy with it. You can just click back on it so that it's, that it's selected, and then come back up to the menu here. And right next to the group tool is a tool called ungroup. So when you click there, what you'll see will happen is that these will return back to their original colors, and they'll now, once again, be two separate objects. But it will keep the changes that you made while they were grouped together. So this is one easy way to group objects together. So I'm just going to remove these and add a new cube and a new cylinder. Now one of the nice things about Tinkercad is that it also helps you with aligning these two objects together. So say for example, I want to have this be in the center of this cube. But as you can see, it's not quite even. So the program will help me do that. So once again, if you click and then highlight both objects, up at the top here, before you group them together, while they're still two separate objects, you'll come over to the Align tool right here. Now what will happen is you'll get a bunch of black circles here. Now this will give you a preview of how it will try to align. So each of these circles is a representation of how it will align. So for example, this one here will now align the two shapes along this edge. If I wanted to align the circle directly inside of the cube, I would choose this option. Now this is really helpful if you wanna have your, your shapes exactly aligned together so that every side is even. And you can actually play with a bunch of different options here to see how it will align. So I'm just going to go back. So you'll see now that I'm happy that this is in the center and you can still move this around a little bit if you want. But now when I highlight and then I press the group tool, you'll see that now we have a completely new shape once we've combined these two together. So when you're grouping in this way, any of the shapes here that you'll see that are colored are what are known as solids. So these are shapes that are solid objects. But you'll see at the top here, you also have shapes that look like they're grayed out. So these are what are known as holes. So actually any object that you have that is solid, you can also turn, in, turn it into a hole as well. So for example, when I have this shape selected, you'll see in the shape menu here, I have the option to either have it as a solid or turn it into a hole. So what that does is instead of combining shapes together to create a new object, that's a sum of both parts, if you use a hole and group together, it will actually cut away whatever it is that you turn into a hole. So for example here, say for example that you want to use a cylinder here and you can place it anywhere you like. I'm going to just leave it the size that it is. 
And once again, I'm going to align this so that it's in the center. But what I'm going to do this time is when I click on it, instead of leaving it as a solid, I'm going to change it over into a hole. And what you can see is that makes it transparent and grayed out. So what will happen now is when I click, highlight, and then group the two objects together, it will now slice away the cylinder that was a hole. So the power in this is that it allows you to take these shapes to combine them and create completely different shapes out of what you were wanting to do. Now, as you can see here, this cylinder that I used um, was the entire height of the, the original shape that I had. So it actually sliced down completely through. But you can also use shapes that are smaller. So I'm going to actually use this cube here, turn it into a hole. And what you can see you can do is you can actually make all sorts of different shapes here. So I'm going to align this in the center. So you can see now I have it right in the center here. And then I'm going to actually sink it down somewhat into this shape. So right now, this is sunk down into this shape, but not completely through. So now, when I combine, when I highlight both and then go to the group tool, you can see now that it's actually made a square-shaped hole in this object. So we went from a cube and a cylinder to something completely new that looks like this. And just remember that in Tinkercad, the program will remember what you've done. So if at any time you're unhappy with, the, with these things that you've done to your shape, you can actually go back by once again highlighting everything. And you can press ungroup once again. And as you can see, it will actually bring back everything that you've added to the shape. You may have to press the ungroup tool a couple times, but it should eventually bring back all of the shapes that you have grouped together. So that way you can actually click on any of these again modify them, and then regroup them back together to make any changes that you like. So once you have everything highlighted, you can regroup and it will bring your shape back together. So this is one of the powers of Tinkercad to create new objects. I highly recommend going through and trying out many of the different shapes to see what you can make by grouping solids and holes.